Hello everyone, this is Wen Hing. Today, you'll see how to make this delicious Hakka Taro Abacus Seeds Suan Pan Zi, or more commonly known as Yam Abacus Seeds or Suim Pun Zi in Malaysia. This is actually like an Asian pasta dish, but the dough is made from taro and starch. This gives the pasta a chewy texture that you can't stop with just one bite. So let's get started. There are only two main ingredients to make this taro abacus seeds, taro and tapioca starch, and I season it with a little bit of salt and pepper too. You don't need a lot of taro at all, and if you get a fresh one like this, you can freeze the unused portion for other recipes such as taro rice or turn them into a sweet soup. Sometimes the taro sap will make your hand itchy while you're handling it, but most of the time it won't. So, just wear a glove as a precaution. Once you have peeled off the skin, cut them into cubes. The smaller the better to reduce the cooking time. I have about 250 grams here. Normally, I would steam the taro, but I understand not many of us have a steamer at home. So, I boil them instead just like how you make mashed potato. Place the cubes into a pot and add just enough water to cover the taro. You don't want to add too much water or it will dilute the taste. If you prefer to use the steam method, then don't add any water here. But instead, place the cubes on a plate and into a steamer then steam until they are tender. For this boiling method, cook the taro over medium-high heat until the taro is soft. Transfer the cooked taro into a bowl and if you see it has too much water, drain it out or you'll need to add more starch to the mixture. Use a potato masher to mash the taro into a fine paste while the taro is warm. The smoother the paste, the better, so it will easily bind with the starch later. Season with some salt and pepper, and if you like 5 spice powder, you can add a bit here too. Slowly add in the tapioca starch, or some calls this as tapioca flour. You want to add the starch in batches so you don't overdo it. The more starch you have, the chewier the dough will be, but it will reduce the taro's flavor. So add just enough that you can bind all the taro together. Then mix until well combined. And once it's cool to handle, knead it into a soft dough. Pinch about a teaspoon of dough and roll it into a ball. Using your thumb and index finger, Pinch the middle to make a dent so it looks like an abacus seed. Look at this cute round dough and be sure to cover it with a cloth to prevent them from drying out. To cook them, bring a pot of water to a rolling boil and add in the taro seeds. Cook over high heat and once they float up, let it stay afloat for another 15 seconds or so. Then, using a sieve, dish them out into a bowl of cold water to stop the cooking. Drain out the water and rub some oil on these beautifully cooked taro seeds so they won't stick together. You can store them at this point or set aside until ready to use. So now you have made the taro seeds. You will need to cook them with other ingredients to make it into a tasty meal. I'm using softened dried shiitake mushrooms, wood ear mushrooms for the crunch, tofu and some spices. And you'll first saute the shallots until translucent to release its sweet aroma. Then slowly add in the rest of the ingredients one by one and make sure each ingredient has time to fully cook through to release its flavor. Also, if you can't get dried shiitake mushrooms, other mushrooms such as king oyster or fresh mushrooms will work great in this recipe. Mushrooms do take some time to brown, so adjust the heat to allow them to fully cook through. As usual, you can replace tofu with other ingredients of your choice such as tempeh or textured soy protein. If you want to make this dish alien-free, skip the shallots and garlic and just include the mushrooms, tofu and add more cilantro to make this dish more flavorful. For the seasoning, I'm using vegan oyster sauce, soy sauce and some white pepper. And for a homemade vegan oyster sauce that's made from mushrooms, please check the video link in the caption below. 
Add some water to brace the ingredients for a minute. And now you can add in your beautiful taro seeds and toss everything together until well combined. Mmm, it smells so good. Remember to taste test and adjust the seasoning to your preference. Also, if you like, add some dark soy sauce here for the color. Finally, add the chopped green onions and cilantro to finish up the meal. There you have it, a fragrant and delicious Hakka taro or yam abacus seed suan pan zi is done. Serve it with some chili sauce and enjoy this tasty dish with your friends and family. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on the bell so you will be first to know when a new video is up. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye!